I have been invited to go to the opening of the F1 season in Bahrain. Is it Bahrain? Is it Bahrain? Whatever the f***. Something with Bach. It's f***ing warm and there's desert. I'm looking forward to that. Just a quick hi from Dubai. It has been an incredible 10 days and I don't even know where to start. I wanna actually tell you guys everything about it. But first, let me explain to you that I'm so extremely excited that I'm going to the F1 start. It's bizarre. I was basically invited by someone that is one of the major sponsors of F1 and he just sent me a DM, Nico, do you wanna come? I literally replied, does a beer shit in the woods? Of course I'm coming. Actually, I'm leaving in 20 minutes to go to the airport, so I'm really excited about that. But that also means that I need to leave my partner and my wee baby in the apartment in Dubai is actually really relaxed sleeping. Look at that, he's cute. Let me start at the beginning. The first week in Dubai was to relax, to have a holiday, to have a break and just to chill and, and get some energy back. I had this idea that I'm not gonna fly home. I'm just gonna figure out how I can represent Pride and Pinion in Dubai or in the Emirates. I mean, I know a lot of watch markets, but the UAE watch market, I just don't understand. And the only way for me to understand that market is to actually be here, which I am now. And the actual three days that I've been working, I've sold nearly half a million worth of watches. That is insane. Including a full ceramic Audemars Piquet Royal Oak perpetual calendar. That's this one. Absolute insane watch, may I add. By the way, I'm absolutely sweating my balls off. Look at that view, unbelievable. It's a solid place for me to start and to figure out how the watch market is in, in the Emirates. See all those apartments, every apartment here, every building here, there's all people there that have really nice watches. I wanna be the guy that sells them all their watches. So that's my ambition. And I'm gonna make it reality. Right, let's talk some watches. I'm gonna bring with me my Richard Mille Army 1102, and I'm gonna bring with me my Audemars Piquet Royal Oak Music. However, I'm gonna change the strap to yellow. Don't know why, but it just feels like I wanna match it with this one. And as you may know, I like yellow, black and yellow. Uh, good tune, by the way. Yeah. I bought all the additional straps with me as well. So green, yellow, dark blue. Just wanna show you this. There's two buttons on the back. You press them, take off this one, replace it with the, the other one. Do the same with this one. Actually really easy. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Then you still need the clasp and the clasp is currently fixed on this one. So it's very easy. You move this aside here and you can just move it out. Put this on and there you go. It's a complete new watch. Absolutely love this. I have a few goals set for this trip. Things that are very important for me, things that I want to achieve during this trip. If I if I achieve these things, I can call this a successful trip. Successful business-wise. Of course I'm gonna have fun going to the F1. Of course I'm gonna have fun and seeing nice people. Like that's not the point. But I need to achieve things. It's not just a social gathering. I'm not just doing this to party or to see F1. No, I'm doing this to help the business and to gain new clients. That's us now. Right, passport, wallet, the rest I can buy. Look at that boy, look at that. Dubai airport. How's it going? Thank you so much for sorting out the car, bro. No Victor already gave me, first of all, it was a Nissan Patrol. Was it Patrol? Yeah. It was a Nissan Patrol. Then a Lamborghini Urus and now the GLE Mercedes. That is class, bro. What a car this is. This is very comfortable. It's more comfortable than a G-Wagon anyway. Right, there you go, lads. Dubai, Bahrain. A few goals set for me. One of those goals is to not just represent Pride and Pinion, but actually sell a watch. A lot of people confuse me with just a watch guy, YouTube, whatever, old banter, come here, I'll invite you over, etc. Which I really, really appreciate, but they forget that I sell watches. I want people to think about me as not just a YouTube guy, but also the guy that supplies them with watches. So that's one of my big, big goals. Another goal is to meet a lot of people. I got so many DMs, about, probably about 20 DMs, about me going to Bahrain, and there's a lot of local people that, that know who I am and follow me, uh, which I didn't expect, by the way. So that's another goal. I want to be able to meet a lot of people. 
And my third goal is just have fun. Enjoy it. I'm a bit anxious. I'm leaving with a bit of a heavy heart. I'm not gonna lie. It's tough sometimes leaving your child, leaving um, your partner. Definitely in a different country than your own. This time, I really, really feel it. We'll see if I uh, meet any of the goals. I think the fun part, I'll definitely, I'll definitely achieve that. I really, really want to achieve the other two goals as well, though. Did he do that? Did he really do that? <laughs> That's how I'm being welcomed to Bahrain. What a mad place. Bahrain Airport. That is some place. Unbelievable. I don't know how it's possible that this airport is so bloody clean. Like Dubai as well. You go to the bathroom here, everything is clean. It's insane. In Europe, it's horrible. This is nuts. Even an IKEA in Bahrain. What the f is going on here? What a place. Beautiful sunset. No bother. And that's where we're heading. Follow your champion. So first stop is straight. We're going straight to the track, right? Yeah. Straight to the track. There are qualifiers at six o'clock, so it's about 10 to five. Normally it would take half an hour, but apparently there's a f ton of traffic because of, of course, F1. It may look like that we could potentially be late, but straight in, no kissing, no bother. Well, I can sure say that this escalated quite quickly from the airport to the taxi to now at the circuit, but not just at a normal place. I'm actually at all these paddocks and all sorts of shit, and I have a, an official staff thing. Look at that. How the fuck did you sort this height? What the fuck did you do? We did a height, okay? We did a height. <laughs> this <laughs> guy, this <laughs> guy. I had to rescue him from security. Yes, that's, that's true, that's true. So that's why I couldn't film, right? And I, we were just yet in the garage, and I couldn't film that either. I actually have a staff pass, an F1 staff pass. Don't even ask, it's all right. That's a god tier man right there, son. Lando boy. You need to start growing some proper nose hair because that makes you a proper man, son. What a guy, though. Bro, what did you do? I bought you, a couple of APs. Huh? No, you you paid 40k no, no, go, go, for an IWC. Go, 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 go straight. Go, go, yalla, 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 yalla. Go. Yalla, 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 yalla. Habibi! come to Dubai and pay 40k for IWC. <laughs> <laughs> This guy paid 40k for an IWC. I feel so sorry. Next time, ask them for lube or at least a condom because you don't look any better off it, honestly. I just found the best supermarket I've ever seen in my life. Food stuff. What do you think? Does it have stuff or food? Do you think it will have a 40k IWC by any chance? No? Race day is here in Bahrain. Look at that. I have been invited by a good friend of mine called Giuliano. He's actually one of the main sponsors of the Afro Alfa Romeo F1 team. Yesterday was absolutely insane because during qualifying, I was actually in the paddock. I was on TV because I was in the paddock. That was insane. So actually I'm, I'm on Sky Sports, so that's quite crazy. Um, that's my claim to fame, to be honest. Let me tell you a wee bit about Giuliano. Giuliano is a Dutch Italian entrepreneur, a young guy. He's about 26 years old and he's done incredibly well for himself. And his watch collection is worth north of about 2 million sterling for me to be able to hang out with him is insane i just love being around people that have incredible watch collections but it's never about the money the way he talks about watches is special and the fact that he has as well so many vintage pieces makes it for me so incredibly cool so i basically have best of both worlds i'm able to talk about my favorite subject which is watches on a beautiful location like Bahrain, and I'm gonna see the start of the F1. I honestly, absolutely love what I do for a living. It's not easy being away from family, but this shit is unbelievable. Because Giuliano really loves AP, I decided to bring my million subscriber watch. This time with a yellow strap. By the way, I haven't set up the time yet, to be honest. Oh, look at this, white trousers. <laughs> I'm wearing white trousers, that's pretty f***ed up. So I got everything, charger, phone, and look at this, an extra watch. I'm bringing my Richard Mille as well. Let's go to the races. Let's get stuck in. So yesterday, I set myself three goals. One was to actually actively sell a watch. Second, to increase my network. And third, just having fun. Now, the first one, to be honest, it's easy to sell a watch to someone you already know. That's not adding value. That's not the reason I'm out here. I already know Giuliano. 
and what a guy he is, and what a collection he has. But he's also my friend, and I'd rather hang out with him as a friend. Now, I figured out that George Bamford is currently in Bahrain, going to the F1, on invitation of the Prince of Bahrain. Now, he's in Paddock Club, and I have an all-access card, so I can go to the garages, I can go to the Paddock Club, I can go anywhere. So I think that that is going to be my first stop to figure out if someone is there and that wants to talk about watches and I can maybe even persuade him to have a look at Pride and Pain and consider Pride and Pain. My second goal is to increase uh, my network and to represent Pride and Pain. Now I've done that quite uh, quite well yesterday and a lot of people that didn't really consider me as a dealer but more as a YouTuber I changed their perception and for that that's a big tick in the box now the third one having fun I mean that's the easy bit isn't it this, this, this guy this guy this guy came home what time did you came home Six seven, <laughs> orders a burger, eats half a burger, leaves it there. <laughs> I ordered it, I forgot it. I guy brought it in. <laughs> Bro, we need to go actually. Can I get the f up now and take charge? No, uh, if you're finished in five minutes. Oh, hey mate. Hi mate. Hey mate. Hey, hey, mate. Matchy, matchy. Matchy, matchy. I don't have boys anymore, mate. What the f happened last night, bro? You, you still have the bottle of tequila? Yes. So we just arrived at the circuit. Bahrain circuit, the start of the F1 season 2023. On the courtesy of these my Look at that. Now, specifically him, not him, because he just paid 40k for an IWC. <laughs> so he is, he's, he's not important. Not everyone has a lot of brain cells. Not a bad setup. Look at that. Hey, he's one of the main sponsors of the team, of Alfa Romeo. And I'm a guest. It's really, really cool to see it from my perspective. What you see there, upstairs, is Paddock Club. Those are the most expensive tickets in F1. And these are all lounges of, of companies, of race teams, where guests are being invited, but you can also buy the tickets. They're quite expensive, to be fair. I think one time I paid like five grand for a ticket. This, the area where I am in, this is where all the teams are. This is not accessible normally to the public. This is also where you can find the drivers, and this is quite special. And these are tickets you can't buy. And I'm very, very fortunate that I've been invited. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I appreciate that. What are you doing, you shit hawk? You're not thanking me. Fucking eating with a white shirt. He is asking for disaster. That's what he is. He has a nice watch, though. We're twinning. Hello, sir. We're going on track or what? Yeah, we're going to race. We're going to race against these guys. And then he's going. Guy's wearing a hublot. Guy's wearing a hublot, not good. What the f is that? Let's go Lewis in a Dutch flag. Look at those. Yeah, let her have it. after the race. I feel so blessed. Like, this is insane. Look at that. Go I'm gonna do his job. That's what I'm doing. Right? I'm not a <laughs> photographer. What are we doing here? What's like? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's actually so bright. Oh my God. So it doesn't work, it's broken. Oh, it's on video mode, that's why. Oh, sh**. Do you want to record or do you want to take photos? Photos. Okay, let's switch it. Let's no one wants to hear my sh**. So what bright. a shot though. That's what crazy. a shot. Mate, Look at that shot. Look at that. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I have a talent! <laughs> I have a talent. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> I have a talent. <laughs> Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Should we take Just... one of you? Oh, oh, that's sexy. God damn. <laughs> that is, send me that, I need that. Right, I, have, I, I had a challenge, right? I put a challenge on today. On. Um, I was supposed to sell a watch to someone during this trip, oh, right? Geez. You were talking about you were gonna buy a PRX. Yes. So I'm gonna sell you a PRX. Okay. Is that a deal? Go on, right, let's so do it. Are you buying the quartz or the automatic? I was gonna buy the quartz, I guess for my dad. And I feel like he doesn't really 
He doesn't really like the fact that he'll have to wear it every day to keep the battery going. And All right, fair enough. Going I'm going to sell you a watch. Okay. Oh, I'm going to sell you a quartz. I tell you what, I'll, right. I'll, buy, I'll buy the automatic. Okay, done. Yeah, done. 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 But the, green, the dark green dial. Dark green dial. Or should I go for the blue? I love the dark green. I love okay. the dark green. I'm not going to lie. Dark green for me. Done. The navy quartz for my dad. Perfect. Done. Let's do it. Let's done. do it. Ah, love it. Done. 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 <laughs>